Hi there, welcome to MTurf Guide. Today I'm going to talk about page refresh errors. What, why, and how to stop them. What are page refresh errors? This is a page refresh error. When you're trying to do something, anything in MTurk, and you get this message consistently, you have exceeded the maximum allowed page request rate for this website. And essentially, it will just completely block you um, from doing what you're trying to do. Uh, and so, what is it? Why does it happen? A page request errors or PREs occur when you're hitting the MTurk site too many times in a small span of time. Um, they can prevent you from accepting hits and other critical activities that you may be working on, so they're quite a nuisance. And often it's the result of having too many panda links running at the same time, and so you are in fact hitting the site too many times, even though you may not be the one clicking the site. If you've got panda running in the background, they're hitting the site as well as you doing whatever it is you're doing. So. Um, it's definitely, you know, for the most part, I'd say 95% of the time it is a result of something that we are doing. Um, if you use something like a hit database and you update it while you're trying to work on stuff, you're pretty much guaranteed that you're going to get um, page refresh errors because what the database does is it reaches out and it grabs information from MTurk to update its database. And so every, you know, even milliseconds, really, it's hitting the data, it's hitting MTurk to retrieve that information. So if you're on the other side in another window trying to hit, uh, submit a hit or accept a hit, it's just piled on and you're going to get the page refresh error. Um, for me, this error is more prevalent when I'm using TurkMaster, um, and, and sometimes it will impede your ability to submit a hit. So it's really important to know that, to be aware of when you're, you know, when you're potentially putting too much on, you know, TurkMaster or Panda Crazy, um, because it, sometimes with surveys, if you can't submit it and then you refresh, sometimes it gets kind of screwy. I had it happen to me the other day um, where I couldn't, and then couldn't submit it at all because it said I already, I already did the survey or something. So, um, so you just want to be aware of it. Um, generally, if you can't submit something, you should be able to refresh and then go into your hits assigned to you, and then, re and then submit it from there when you don't have the other stuff going on like the database backing up or whatever um, but occasionally you know stuff happens and you end up with the error that I got the other day um, occasionally and this was goes back to the 95 5 percent I was saying occasionally page refresh errors will seem really bad and then all of a sudden the, it'll go back to normal and that five percent of the time I'd say is it's not you it's actually mturk occasionally you know I think this the database just Sometimes it just kind of like spazzes or something. And then I get all these page refresh errors, and even though I'm not really doing anything I wasn't doing before. And then five minutes later, it's fine again. So I don't know. Some, it's, it's not perfect, right? So um, so more importantly, aside from all the, the whys, how can you fix them? Uh, for TurkMaster, what you can do is change the timers on the individual pandas you're running. So let's say you have three pandas running and you've got you know one going at two seconds and you know you get all three going at two seconds well that's obviously not working so you're going to put maybe one at two one at three one at four or one at two four and six or maybe you want to shut one down and reduce the number of pandas you're running on turk master you got to kind of finesse it a little bit and see what the optimal um, number of pandas running and the timer at which they're running for Turk Master because it, it goes hand in hand also with your computer and your network. So I can't really speak to, you know, what is the best for everybody. I kind of know what I can get away with. And, you know, for example, when I run Zoltar, I actually use Turk Master for Zoltar. It's just a preference of mine. And I put the one panda on one second and the Zoltar's flow in for me. Um, but that's on my computer with my internet connection. So I can't say that's going to work for everybody, but it's what I do. I shut down everything else. No panda crazy running, no anything else running, just one panda, my Zoltar 12 cent panda um, running at one second and pretty much keeps my, my queue full for the most part. Now with panda crazy, crazy, Panda Crazy, um, it's a little bit different. And Panda Crazy was really built to try to get around some of these page refresh issues and some of this, what you'll hear people talk about of throttling issues where, um, you know, you do a bunch of hits in, in a big batch and then it says there's no more hits available, even though you know there's hits available. It was intended, Panda Crazy kind of, I think, grew out of the idea of trying to get around some of that. So what you do in Panda Crazy is a little bit different. 
So one thing you can do in Panda Crazy is you can change your timer cycle. So if you're in Panda Crazy, you can go up to the top and you see I have a screenshot here where it says jobs display grouping cycle. On cycle, you can hit one, two, and three. So if you're running a bunch of pandas in Panda Crazy and you're, you're, you see the, the page refresh errors coming up, which you can actually see it on your display in Panda Crazy, um, it says PREs, um, you can change the cycle to two or to three and see how that does for you. Again, it's a balance, right? You you want to eliminate, you know, you want the pre-ease kind of mucking you up, um, but also you want to make sure you're fast enough to be catching stuff. So you got to kind of, like I said, finesse it. So that's one option. Your other option is to change from panda to pantha. So now we're away from the cuddly bamboo eating pears and onto the, you know, big cat panthas. Um, but how you get there is if you go to your already created panda and panda crazy and you hit the details button and go in and you're going to see action mode and it should be on panda. Change it to pantha, which is actually um, pandas preview and accept and uh, pantha is preview and then accept. So it kind of, it's like a, it's I don't know, it, it's hard to, I don't know, the way I understand it is Panda is kind of like one action and Pantha is kind of like two actions. Um, and so once you change it to Pantha and you go and you save that change, you'll see on the right side where it says Zoltar, it'll actually say accepted and a number, missed and a number, searched and a number. So that search number will keep ticking up. The accept is how many, you know, Panda Crazy accepted for you and missed is how many you've missed. Um, what I've learned as far as, as, as the page refresh errors is, is that if it's not impeding your ability to work in the system, and even though you can see it happening with, with Panda Crazy, which is probably the only downfall for me is like seeing that pre PRE number going up, 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 kind of psychologically psychs me out a little bit because I'm like, oh goodness, you know, it's so many, so many page refresh errors around it going, but actually it's not affecting my ability to Turk. I, you know, I kind of got to leave it alone and just leave my settings be and not let it get into my head. Um, so that's kind of the one downside to, to Panda Crazy for me. But you have all these options in Panda Crazy to try to, you know, get that nice balance for you and what you're trying to do. So, um, so yeah, I mean, really, I can't tell anybody what the optimal thing's going to be for them. But hopefully this was just a quick an easy tutorial if you're running into page refresh errors and and you're wanting to know um, you know what to do about them um, you know this is some option so I'd love to hear from people are you experiencing page refresh errors did you know what they were um, how are you fixing it talk to me let me know what you're thinking I'd love to hear from people and as always please let me know if there's other topics you'd like to see me address I'm open to whatever you guys would like to hear about please subscribe, please comment, engage with me. In my last video that I posted earlier, I did mention that I've been MIA a little and I apologize for that, but I'm getting back into it um, and we'll be working on more videos. So I would love to get my list together and really just whatever you guys want to hear about, I'm, uh, I'm here and I'd love to do the video. So as always, I love to hear from you. Keep talking out there and have a great turking day. Bye guys.